What's going on guys? My name's Bill and this is Tool Tech Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, I like to bring you guys a tool that I've been using in my videos or that I've just been using on a project. <coughs> I didn't have the bug, I think. How many times have you been working on a project and you need to attach two pieces of wood? So, you drill a few holes, you drive some screws in, and the screws sit kind of right on the surface, maybe up just a little bit. And you really want those screws to sit below the surface. Whatever reason, you may want to fill the hole, you know, who knows? There's a multitude of reasons why you'd want those screw holes to sit below the surface. I mean, I guess you could set your driver to kill mode and just drive that screw in and, you know, force it to recess itself. But, you know, that's obviously not the right way to do it, especially if you're working like near the edge of a piece of wood that could really lead to cracking, uh, could lead to splintering. In this case, I have a piece of plywood here. It could lead to the surface kind of splintering. Um, not the right way to recess a screw head. The right way would be to get yourself a set of uh, countersink drill bits. These happen to be by DeWalt. They come in three different sizes. They got a six, an eight, and a 10. And what these do is not only do they drill your pilot hole for your drill bit, but right here on the tip, or on this part down here beneath the drill bit, or up by the shank, it's got these angular cutters basically in there on, the, on a pretty steep angle. And what they do is they actually drill a little bit of larger hole at the top to countersink the head of your screw. So I've got the number six here in my, my driver. I could take this, I can drive this in, drive that down, and now when I swap the bit out, You can see in the, at the hole there, it's got a little divot for the head of the screw to sit in. So now, drive this in. Pick up my, my pilot hole underneath there. There we go. Now when I drive this in, that screw head will sit flush or actually just beneath the surface of the plywood and it didn't splinter out the end. It didn't, you know, peel that outer layer of plywood off. If I was near the edge, it wouldn't have, you know, maybe cracked the plywood. Um, I probably could have gone maybe a little bit deeper, but that's just flush. Try and get a good angle on that so you can see that. Hopefully that shows up right on the camera. You see that sits right at the surface. Now your screw head is recessed, sitting flush or just beneath the surface. And it just gives you a much cleaner look than just putting your driver on kill mode and driving that thing in full speed and just destroying the surface or whatever it is that you're working on. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell and get back to work.